Maria, welcome to Behind the Scenes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us more about the foreign languages here at Delta College? Uh, we have four different languages that we offer. We offer American Sign Language, uh, French, German, and Spanish. And we have, for each one of the languages, a typical four-semester sequence. Um, and these courses are transfer courses. They're academic transfer courses that are grammar-based. Uh, so they are intended for students who plan to transfer to MSU, U of M. And what would you say are some of the benefits for a student to take a foreign language? Uh, well, in my opinion, there are many. <laughs> and um, I think the, one of the most important things that I can think about, the benefits of taking a language, is the ability to be able to communicate someday, be able to communicate with another person from another culture. It opens your mind and your heart uh, to um, the diversity and richness of other cultures and it allows you to explore those cultures firsthand. Uh, and finally, I'd like to say that uh, learning another language can enhance pretty much any other degree. Uh, so the, the benefits are multiple. Mm -hmm. And could you tell me more about American Sign Language? Yes, um, we are proud and honored to have American Sign Language here at Delta College. Um, the program actually probably started back in the 90s, um, but we are fortunate now to have a full-time instructor in American Sign Language, Trent Wade. Um, American Sign Language is uh, a language. It is taught as a foreign language in the sense that it has its own syntax, its own grammar, it has its own inflection and accent, and so we are delighted to have that here. This program is actually growing significantly now, and so we're very excited about the possibilities for the future. Yeah. Is there anything else that you would like to tell us about the foreign language discipline here at Delta College? Yes, um, Delta College is a great place to start your foreign language studies. Why? Because our class sizes are small. Um, we have faculty who are experienced and they're committed to student success in the language. Our classes are not typically lecture classes, they're more participatory classes. And so students uh, are always doing something in our classes. In other words, you don't just sit there and listen, 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 and take notes, but it's a performance-based class. So it's a great place to learn to communicate in, in the languages that you're studying. Wonderful. And speaking of that, I'm wondering if I could get into some of the classes? Well, I think we might be able to arrange for you a visit to a French class where they are practicing their final speaking exams. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Bonjour tout le monde. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Bien. bien. Ça va bien aujourd'hui? Alors, on, on va accueillir uh, Liane Govitz aujourd'hui. Alors, bienvenue dans la classe Français 111. Bonjour, Bonjour Liane. Thank you. Alors aujourd'hui, on va travailler sur euh, les dialogues au restaurant. Donc euh, vous avez fait votre journal, journal 4. Hein? So what are they talking about? We're learning how to order at cafes in France and how the servers interact. So. Great, thank you. Je vous la porte tout de suite. Très bien, merci madame. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Très bien, merci. I'm with Trent Wade and his interpreter, Shauna Thalen, behind the scenes, and we're going to learn more about American Sign Language. Thanks for joining us. Trent, can you tell me more about your background, uh, how you got into teaching, and uh, how long you've been at Delta College? Well, actually, I started, I was born here in Saginaw, and then I moved to Grand Rapids when I was three years old. I was born and raised, or I was raised in Grand Rapids area. I went to a few different colleges and then I decided, I didn't quite decide my major. And then finally, I did end up graduating for, from Tennessee University with my master's in special education. And then after that, I became a teacher of the deaf at a high school. Um, I taught social studies, government, economics. And then probably about seven years into that teaching field, I experienced some burnout. And I decided at that time to transfer to teaching at the college level. And that is where I discovered my passion. And I am at my third year here at Delta. Wonderful. And can you tell me, um, American Sign Language here at Delta, 
uh, how long perhaps the program has been in place and how many students you have currently? From my understanding, I believe that it has been probably about since the, since the early 1990s that the American Sign Language program got set up here. And we offer, at that time, we offered more of like a community education class. Okay. And when I came here, I wanted to focus more on the linguistics portion of the, the language. And the rigor has definitely taken a step up. So students, they can learn ASL here and then transfer to an interpreter training program. And I was told that uh, you don't have the interpreter in your classes, is that true? Correct. What we do is we focus on, it's called immersion. So it's deep immersion into the language. We do not use our voices in the classroom. That is the best way to learn American Sign Language. At the beginning, some students do experience a little bit of frustration until they become used to it. Once they get used to it, it is definitely the better way to learn the language, just like Spanish and French, same concept. And um, I was hoping uh, that you might be able to teach me a, a little something. Sure. Why don't we start with hello? This is how are you? So you put your hands together where your knuckles touch. Okay. And move your dominant hand, and then you point to the person you're talking to. I'm fine. How did you do that? You put your thumb in the middle of your chest okay. and bounce it. That's fine. This is nice to meet you. Are you having fun? So you have fun. I do have one additional question, if you don't mind. Um, so probably not everyone that takes your class is planning to be an interpreter. And I'm wondering what you think are some of the benefits of, of taking a sign language class. Well, I'm happy that you asked that. There is a whole line. There is a variety of fields that sign language would benefit for, um, for criminal justice, for officers, for social work teachers for the deaf, educational fields. Any person that has the basic communication skills, that, you know, you, you learn how to use your facial expressions, you learn how to approach and how to use gestures, and that helps open up your communication, your communication horizon. So you don't feel like that you are unable to approach a deaf person because we have a lot more in common than, than just using our communication skills. It's really not that complicated. I'd like to say thank you in sign language. Could you show me how to do that? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>